Hello friends, if you are following my channel, you know that I have created a video before about this AC core console, right? Now, uh, in this laptop, I have installed AutoCAD 2023 and in the installation folder, we have this ak.exe. So when we double click this exe file, the full-fledged AutoCAD software starts. Now, it has a headless version of AutoCAD, which is actually console version of AutoCAD, uh, which works like AutoCAD, like you can give the commands of AutoCAD, like uh, line, circle, or whatever way you want, okay? And you can also save the drawing can give the save command it will ask you for the file path and you can do it right uh, and if you give quit command it will actually execute now this is a console application now I have created a video where I have created my own version of a cat core console right and it is in Python I've written it in Python but it has also a user interface where actually you can see the graphics when you draw something like that say for example you want to draw a line from say 100 comma 200 to 300 comma 400 it takes the input and draws the line okay you want to create a circle uh, if you want to create a circle you take a input say the center is at 20 comma 50 and radius is say 12 you can draw a circle there now it is slow i know that uh, it's drawing slowly because uh, it is using turtle graphics of python mm, there may be other better ways uh, which can draw graphics very fast uh, uh, we'll add up to other uh, graphical framework for python later say PyQt or PyGame or something like that but for now I have integrated it with uh, Turtle Graphics of Python okay now when you draw this by taking inputs it also creates a Excel file internally okay actually I have created one line and one circle but this line is from my previous run so it actually appends the data so it means I am also saving the drawing at the time when I'm actually uh, drawing itself right now actually this python can interact with autocad and create the drawing in autocad itself and i can write full scripts to create a complete automated drawing in either autocad or this uh, turtle graphics interface now the data is exported in some file right the file format can be customized but i have kept it simple file format Right. this is my own custom file format no name right now now suppose you want to import the same data in some excel so it's excel file and i if you are following my youtube videos you already know that i have explained these two buttons i have created now this actually if you click import what it does it imports the drawing data from that file and draws in excel right the same drawing but it, it is actually inverted in Excel it is inverted in Excel the Y uh, coordinates are inverted here and here as you see two lines because the drawing contains two lines one one line from previous person now what is the motto of this video the motto of this video is to explain you that if you are learning Python normally people learn Python for machine learning and data science but if you are from mechanical or civil or electrical engineering domain and you are thinking to learn python and if you are not sure whether you will be choosing career in machine learning data science or not you can learn python with a short term goal to use python for cad automation or cad customization right you can learn python uh, basic object oriented programming then you can learn Python for graphics programming like the Turtle Graphics uh, for algorithmic 
development. Then you can learn Pygame for 2D and 3D. You can use Python for customizing and automating uh, Excel, AutoCAD, Inventor, Katia, SolidWorks, anything that supports COM technology, right? Besides that, Python can be used to automate Fusion 360. Python can be used to automate uh, Blender. Python can be used for 3D Max, Maya, this kind of software also. So Python is not only just for machine learning and data science. Python can be used for CAD customization and CAD automation as well. Now, once you have learned Python and you have used it for CAD automation, then next level you can think of learning uh, Python for machine learning and data science. And in the next level, you can integrate of CAD and machine learning so that we can actually uh, add intelligence in our CAD automation process. So think learning Python. First step would be using Python for CAD automation. The CAD can be anything. Right. It's not only AutoCAD, uh, it can be advanced softwares like Cardi, INX, Creo, or Inventor, or AutoCAD, or anything, or even Blender, Maya, 3D Max, whatever it is, right? So if you think you need some help or guidance to learn Python, particularly keeping the target to apply Python for CAD customization and CAD automation, you can uh, talk to me or I can guide you, right? Uh, in which direction you should learn. So, thank you. I hope you have some motivation now for learning Python. Thank you.